Good morning, Kennedy. Happy Tuesday. I thought all morning it was Wednesday. It is not. It's Tuesday. Um, one thing I really want to make, uh, we need to talk about accountability. That's what we need to do. So um, I really think it's important for you as students to be accountable for yourselves and for your work. And the eighth graders, the, there's no better time than the present for you to be doing all of your work all of the time, attending those office hours. Like this is the perfect time for you to advocate for yourself, to get your work done, to get extra help if you need it, and um, to do so without anyone holding your hand. You are getting geared up and ready for high school and I know that seems like forever away but it's not that long and um, you have to be able to write those emails to your teachers you have to be able to do your work and do it correctly and then if you don't understand it you have to be able to ask for help and you have to show your parents your schoology you have to go look I did this 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 and this or you need to go to your power school and show them, look at all my awesome assignments. Look at how they're turned in. Um, I'm doing my job. Seventh graders, I'm, I hate to say it, but you're, I, I'm expecting that from you pretty much as well. Because you've done this before. You I have been in the middle school. You know what the expectations are. Um, so I, I really do want you taking advantage of the office hours. Um, maybe have your parents proofread the emails to your teachers. Um, maybe review your work with your parents before you submit it. But there has to be this, I, I don't like the word, but I'm going to use it, scaffolding where you're, you're learning and you're compounding your abilities and you're, you're growing and you're spreading your wings and you're doing it on your own. Um, so seventh grade, I do, I want you to ask for help from your parents and obviously always from your teachers, but I, I don't, I, I don't want you to put blame on anyone other than yourself if you're not doing the work or if you're not understanding it, but you're not taking that next step and asking for help. Sixth graders, it, it, I get it. This is new. This is different. You have six different teachers, well, seven because of advisory. You have seven different teachers, so you're probably feeling overwhelmed. You might not know exactly what to do or what even advocating for yourself means, but that just means that you are working for yourself to help yourself, and so you're not waiting for someone to come and help you. It would be the difference of, let's say, you forgot a pencil one day at school. So when you were younger, you just sat there and waited for someone to bring you a pencil. But when you're older, you look around, ask for a pencil. You might swap out one item with your teacher for a pencil because that's their little business that they've got, their little swap and share business. Um, but it's solving your own problems. So advocating for yourself, sixth graders, is you doing you. Um, it's really, really important for you to talk to your counselor, talk to Mr. Potowski if you don't understand or you're overwhelmed. See Mrs. Livernoise, she's your um, intervention specialist. If you're taking that step to see Mr. Potowski or see Mrs. Livernoise, you're already advocating for yourself. If you are going to office hours, there you go. That's what you need to do and that's what we're hoping for you. Um, but for sixth graders, I'm expecting little steps, but there's steps going up the stairs. For seventh graders, I'm expecting you climbing those stairs. Uh, maybe you're like on a rock wall now and you've got the safety rope, but you're climbing the rock wall. Eighth graders, you're on top of that mountain. You are, you're knowing what to do and how to do it. You're breathing easy. You're loving life. You're planting that flag because you're ready. And if you have a little time, maybe you're helping out those siblings, those cousins, or soon to be sixth graders through the web program because we're going to be getting with you. So I hope this five minute little pep talk will help. If you have any questions, advocate for yourself. Find the people that will help you find the answers. Do your work. Show up to class. Blur out your screen now on Google Meet so that we don't see your background. Keep your um, mic on, answer questions, even if you're nervous and know that your teachers are nervous too. And we're ready and we're here to help, but we want you to make the best out of all of this for yourself and advocate for yourself and be there with us. 
So talk to you later. Have a great Tuesday. It's not Wednesday. See you guys. Bye.